Ooh, really good question. I, do you know what? Um, I watched what documentary you see on Amazon Prime, um, Boca Juniors. Mm. And I thought that would be absolutely incredible. You, you wouldn't be able to hear yourself. I just think that would be so cool to go there. Um, La Bombonera, I think that would be just a special place to be. Coach a game in? Amateur. Can I Skaki Stadium in, uh, in Piraeus uh, of Greece, uh, the home stadium of Olympiacos. You know, for sentimental reasons, that's probably the one I'd like to step foot on. Camp down, for sure, obviously. Being the away coach, coming out of that tunnel and start crying. I'm not sure those are really good positive reactions for my team, but w what a place. Metropolitano. Uh, probably Wimby. Uh, probably the, the new camp. It'd be a uh, need to go there. I've never been. Dragon Stadium, Dragon in Porto. Okay. I just think that it would be something special to be in that stadium, more for the emotional attachment that I have. One, it's a beautiful stadium, but I think that just uh, being there as a coach, either for or against, would be spectacular. So many coaches, it's hard to kind of pick one or two, but I think, because I, I watch the Premier League, I'd say, probably been watching Pep and Klopp. Uh, it's, it's interesting because um, I'm really liking what uh, De Zerbe's doing at Brighton, mm. but before that I, was, I really enjoyed some of this stuff at Shakhtar Donetsk. I liked what he did uh, with Sassuolo as well in Italy. I think he's a modern day coach that's looking very well. Uh, I really like and I have liked the personality and the way, you know, as an Everton fan it's tough for me to say, but the way Jurgen Klopp does is, is what you can see his personality is carried through with his team. I mean, I said I'm an Arsenal fan, so I, I... I'm enjoying, of course, Arteta, what he's doing right now, and I think I think it's uh, you open your mind, you can take things in from every manager. So I wouldn't put it just one or two, uh, many. I like Unai Emery. I like uh, I like Guardiola. I like Klopp. You know, each one. In, I like Simeone, of course. I think Ancelotti is one because of the way he manages um, the players. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Spalletti today is very intriguing for me because you look at at his team not having big superstars um, so it's someone that i look up to a lot and i'm i'm uh, uh, looking at a lot more right now uh, i think professionalism i think uh, how you think how you live uh, how you uh, what you eat how you rest how you step on the pitch and train how you react um, to success or failure I mean, these are all, I think, a very important part of uh, in development of a league and development of the team and development of players. Yeah, they must be patient on the ball. They must be very good in the, in the way they, uh, they pass and receive. And I know it's something that's, uh, that's very simple. And we're talking about professional players here. But uh, when we talk about on the field, I think that's, uh, that's the number one thing that our players need to show. They need to show very good patience on the ball and that technical ability that even in the most in the toughest uh, situations, uh, they have to stay calm uh, under that storm. And then uh, in the locker room, uh, uh, I like structure. Work hard. It has to be. There's, you know, we use a saying, you have to earn the right to play. And whether that's earn your minutes on the pitch um, or the opposition that you're playing against, you're playing against a team that wants to stop you. Uh, you're playing against, you know, with teammates that want that jersey. Uh, so hard work is a non-negotiable because they got to earn the right to play. Be passionate about what they do. Like our uh, you know, the three things we've come up with that defines our team, one of them is passion. I'm super passionate. If we don't, I just don't think we could see eye to eye and share the same goals. It's important for a coach and his players to have some shared values. Not all, but some.